Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are playing My Pop Goes. Now, this is a Pop Goes spin off game. I'm just going to read you actually this little kind of blurb at the start of a game which tells us exactly what this game is. But this game released for the anniversary, the 10th anniversary of Five Nights at Freddy's. It's by uh, Kane Carter, the creator of Pop Goes, and we're going to be playing it today on the channel to kick off the 10 year anniversary of Five Nights at Freddy's, which runs from the next week. Uh, and basically we'll be seeing a lot of the like updates on the franchise, new game releases, and uh, lots of cool stuff basically. So each day I'll be updating you with the latest Five Nights at Freddy's news there. So with that said guys, let's dive into this one. It says the story. Pop Goes is an official Five Nights at Freddy's spin-off series with its own unique story. This story is built from information presented in only Five Nights at Freddy's 1, 2, and 3, and is best enjoyed after experiencing those games first. It's also set in the same universe as the Five Nights at Candy series by Emil Mako. My Pop Goes is a prologue to Pop Goes Arcade and Pop Goes Evergreen. So there we go guys, let's dive into this. Warning, as you probably are used to by now, this game does contain some disturbing imagery. So it obviously does have some horror elements, despite looking very cute and um, family friendly on the surface, I guess. Let's dive in though. Alright guys, here's the main menu then, let's dive into new game, let's get started. Ooh, nice ominous music, kind of calming as well though. April 2023. Could you go into the attic and fetch my old toolbox? It should be somewhere in that chest against the back wall. And here's the chest. Ooh, what's in the chest? I want to know. We're opening it up. Ooh, look, toy bonnie mask, little chica plush. There's a box. Can I look at the mask? Bonnie, an experiment I did with one of Dad's printers. I'm surprised it's still intact. Oh, we're called Bonnie. <laughs> I think Mom bought this for me ages ago. I still don't know if it's official. Ah, there it is. But I wonder what else is hanging around in here. So that's the toolbox. Let's have a look at the um, the box here. My pop goes. Hmm. Fifteen years earlier. I'm going back in time to the original owner of this box. Oh, it must be us when we're like a kid then. Bonnie. Let's open it up. Happy 10th birthday. Okay, so we're 25 in this game. Dear Bonnie, happy birthday. First of all, I'm so sorry that I'm not able to be with you today. I've been up to my neck in work, but I know how you hate that excuse. I'm just hoping you can forgive me once you open your present. Hope you have a great day. Take care of mom and I'll hopefully see you next week from dad. Oh, that's nice. Let's open the present then. There we go, the box. Ooh, a little pop goes set. We've got a Freddy in there. Looks like he's made of clay. Cool. So what do we do now? Oh, here we go. We've got a tutorial. My pop goes. When you first showed me your little pop goes character, it reminded me of my own excitement of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza and its characters when I was your age. Of course, you'll never get to experience Freddy's like I did, and maybe that's a good thing. But a few months ago, I wondered, what if pop goes could? So here's your present, a miniature Freddy Fazbear's Pizza with a twist. Instructions. Your Pop Goes has visited Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. He's thirsty, hungry, and bored. Uh, hey, it sounds like you. When you start a day at My Pop Goes, you'll uh, need to stop three meters from hitting zero. If they do, Pop Goes passes out, or maybe he dies. It's up to your imagination. To keep him entertained, don't hold any buttons. He'll listen to Freddy's music. To give him a drink, hold the left button. He'll use the vending machine. To cook pizzas and feed to him, hold the right button. He'll use the pizza oven. And to feed him pizzas you've cooked, press the middle button. Each pizza fills up the bar by 30%. And that's it, three buttons. You can handle that, right? Enjoy and happy birthday. I wonder if there's more we can do with Pop Goes and the other characters. So here's our, um, our menu screen. We've got a campaign and games. I guess we play the campaign. 
Oh, here we go. Day one. Survive until 6 p.m. All right. So he's just listening to music. We need a oh, we need a pizza, I think. I get it. Yeah, I'm using the, the keys. Oh god. How do we how do we eat pizza? Ah, there we go. We click on that button. I get it. I didn't understand the controls uh, to begin with, guys. So now I do. Okay, we've eaten the pizzas. Now we need to go for a drink. This is actually tricky. It's tricky to get the hang of it. I love the pixel art, though. The art style of this game is really, really cool. So we've got to make lots of pizzas so we can constantly eat. Okay, now let's eat more pizza. Get drink. Drink, 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 drink. Now we need to listen to music. And then we go back to the pizza. You can see the little bars filling up on the side of the screen, guys. It basically shows us, like what we're doing um, and what's like what, what we need more of so now we need to drink more it's basically kind of like a juggling act you've got to balance everything out at the same time uh, so make more pizzas the time is ticking by I'm just making loads of pizzas here oh we can only have a maximum of five pizzas I get it drink drink chug that Freddy Faz juice <laughs> sounds a bit questionable let's go make more pizzas all right Eat pizza. Right, we're good for music. We're good for music. He's happy. He's bopping away. Okay, more pizzas. Eat those. Yeah, it's just a balancing act. We'll play some of the other mini games as we go, guys, but I don't know if the campaign mode basically lets us, you know, play each of the mini games as we go to kind of teach us them. I'm not really sure how the game works. Hey, we're mastering it now, at least on night one. The night one's gonna be the easiest one, right? I've got this chugging away. Yeah, we've got this in the bag. We're all good. A good difficulty curve to start with. It just kind of teaches you the ropes. I do like the little animations that have a little idle animations and stuff, they're really cool. Hey, we did it! Fantastic! Okay, you win! Alright, so... We've done that, we've got a star for it. Which shows that we've, you know, we've completed that. So now we do... Uh, day two. We get, we should start cooking pizzas straight away, I think, so we've got enough. Just cook those pizzas. Eat a pizza, go and get a drink. There we go, back to the music. Eat pizzas. There we go. Yeah, this is tricky already. <laughs> it's faster. So make, eat, make some delicious cheese pizzas. Drink, 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 drink. There we go, back to the music. Cook a bit of uh, the old pizza. Delightful. He's gonna need the toilet after all this, uh, all this pot. There we go. Micromanagement for the win. It's already 2.30, we're doing okay, guys. Let's cook some more pizzas. I could imagine this game becomes quite addictive on the like, harder difficulties. I almost actually lost it then because I let, you know, the, the drink fill up too much. All right, there we go, we're good. I'm just constantly, like, looking at the bars. That's all my eyes are on when I'm playing this, guys. The little bars on the top left. Let that music go down a bit. Drink some of that. Quick pizza. Fill those up. There we go. Yeah, boy. Look at this. 
the music go down. Oh. Come on. We're almost there, actually. It's 4.30. The nights go by quite quickly, so that's good. Make some more pizzas. Drink the drink. go lovely yeah we've got this we're fine back to the middle just some music we can probably stay in yeah just stay here until the end nice hey so that's two nights done you win okay so that's another achievement beat day two yeah, it actually tells us, look, so now we've got two bars for hunger, two for thirst, two for boredom. So it's like kind of ramping everything up equally now. So we'll check night three out, or day three, I should say. Uh, let's get pizzas going straight away. I'm going to try and max out the pizzas straight away. Okay, maxed out. Eat pizza, eat pizza drink. Now cook some more. Okay, eat pizza. Eat pizza. Drink. Over to the oven. Cook some more pizzas. That's right. Let that music go. Have a drink. And then just cook some more pizzas. Hey, This is fine. Oh, we're going to get that music down. Now we'll cook some more pizzas, top them up. Man, this is trickier now. Like, it doesn't look that hard, but it actually is when you're like trying to like remember everything you've done. I misclicked. I almost lost it. Drink, 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 drink. Eat. All right, we need to make lots of pizzas now. Come on. What's the time? 3.30, that's fine. Oh. Yeah, this is, I think we can manage this. This is still manageable. Yeah, that's it. Eat two pizzas. You only ever need to really eat two pizzas, that's enough. I mean, I don't know how he's stocking away all these pizzas, that's kind of mad. He's got a big, endless appetite. All right, it's five o'clock, we're fine. Oh, that was close. The music almost ran out. I actually took my eye off the prize for too long there. Drink that, drink that. I think we're good. Might as well just wait here. Have one more pizza for good luck. Hey, There we go. Ooh, that one it was a little trickier, but we got through it. That's day three. Completing day five will unlock endless day, challenge days, two toy skins, one random sticker. Okay, and if we get a day six. Day four, let's start it. This is like three bars for two of them now. This is kind of nuts. So we'll stock up on our pizza straight away. Grab one of those. Drink that. Oh man, yeah, this is a lot harder now. This is a lot harder. Come on. Yeah, you really kind of have to get into a rhythm. Once you get into the rhythm and you understand like what the rhythm is for the stage, it becomes like manageable. But it's actually 
getting quite tricky now. Oh, yeah, the music's really going down. Okay. Come on, drink that drink. <laughs> this is actually hard. What the heck? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, get back to the middle. Eat one more pizza. Drink the juice. It seems to be going down slower now, guys. I swear it is. Go, 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 go. Pizzas, 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 pizzas. Come on. Oh! Oh my god, I almost lost it. Man, I'm having to hyper focus so much now. This is insane. Yo, come on. Ah, drink it, drink it. Man, I don't know if I'm going to do this. Guys, I don't know how I can do it. Drink, 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 drink. Back to the middle. Drink, 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 drink. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Drink, drink, drink. Eat, eat. No. Hey, oh my god, I just made it, guys. That was mad. How am I going to do night five? I completely got out of the flow there. Holy, I keep calling it nights. It's day, it's days, days, days. Look how bright it is. Um, but yeah, that one actually challenged me a lot. Like at the end, we're right down to the wire there. The problem is that like boredom currently was on two bars there. If they're all going to be racked up to three when we go to day five here. So day five is going to be a challenge. I probably won't do it my first try, but we'll give it a go. All right, straight to the pizza oven. Cook as many pizzas as we can. I'm going to try and max out. Get that down. Eat pizza, eat pizza. Eat pizza, eat pizza. Drink, 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 drink. Eat pizza, eat pizza. Drink, 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 drink. Gotta let his boredom go down. Let the boredom go right down. Come on. Okay, cook pizzas now. Oh no, I didn't quite get back. <laughs> I think I was like rushing to drink. I was like, drink, drink, drink. Yeah, this one is tricky because like here you really have like to get a perfect flow to each thing. I do think it's important to have as many pizzas as you can, but maybe that's my mistake. Like not trying to max out the pizzas isn't a way to go. What I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to show you my, my winning attempt now. We'll carry on from about four and uh, I'll just keep playing until I manage to beat it, okay? Hey, I did it guys. That took me absolutely ages. I was like super hyper focused. Sorry, I wasn't talking. So we've got an ending I think now because 
Yeah, 15 years later. Sweet. My heart is actually racing, man. I, I don't know how that game riled me up so much, but I was just like hyper focused on it. All right, we're looking back in the box, I think. Hey, have you found it? Uh, go back. And Bonnie says, yes, yeah, sorry, down in a second. We look back. Oh my God, what the heck was that? There's like some guy in a Bonnie mask stuffed in there. So we got ending one. What ending is that? I guess that's the, like the basically the default ending you get just from completing five days. So we'll watch the credits, guys. Watch all the people that made this game. And when we've played through that, what we'll do is we'll check out the mini games afterwards. So this will be a slightly longer video. So you can see some of the pixel art there. Really cool pixel art. There's some awesome 2D art in there as well. Some 3D art. I don't know if we saw any... Did we see any 3D art? I guess we kind of had the models, like, in the background. Um, maybe there's some more secrets we haven't unlocked yet, though. Scott Cawthon produced it, published by Click Team. There we go. Music was good as well, to be fair. It was a nice little game. Okay, let's see. Oh, we've got Endless Mode. You'll unlock one diary entry at 7pm. One diary entry at 8 p.m. and one diary entry at 9 p.m. Interesting. Extra. Sticky floor challenge. Feet can get stuck. Sometimes you have to mash for buttons to escape. Well, that'll be a lot of fun, I'm sure. Cooked pizzas expired over time unless eaten. Okay. Uh, this one, five small pizzas cooked faster but gives you less hunger. This one is collect 10 coins before 6 p.m. or you'll still lose. So this one's called blind resources. The final quarter of a resource screen is obscured so you can't see fully like what you're working with. Let's go to mini games then. Fishing, get 20 fish to win, catch the correct fish. Let's give this a go. Find the correct fish and catch it with your fishing line. Use the left and right buttons to position your hook and then the middle button to send it down. That sounds fair enough. Let's give it a go. Oh, I see. What kind of... Oh, we need to get a certain type of... No. We need to get a certain type of fish. Hmm. I haven't even got one fish yet. That's insane. All right, I suck at this one. This is officially the game I will probably get on um, with least, I guess. So we need the light coloured ones with the stripes. I just saw one at the bottom. Do we have a timer on this? There's one there. Oh man, I can't get it though. No, I hit the one at the top. Wait, here's one. No, you have to line up so perfectly. Is that one? Oh, we've got to find... It changes actually, we want this one. No! Man, you have to be so precise. Let's try it again. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this one. I think this one's not my thing. Okay, come on. Hey, we got one. Okay. One fish acquired. That's the one we want there. Oh, no, he's moving faster, so we need to time this just right. What? That was right, wasn't it? Did I not get that? I don't know. Oh, the one we want is that little loach-looking thing there. No. I feel like we got that. I think we must have hit the other fish first. You know what? Screw it. I don't care. I'm going to get this one. What? Oh, you have to tie it because it moves so fast for line compared to the fish. I'm not going to play that one anymore. That just unlocks us a skin. Uh, Blake the Badger's skin for the campaign mode. So I'm not that bothered. This one is called Don't Drop the Ingredients. 64 points to win. Okay, let's go. Move left and right to juggle the toppings from the chute to the oven. Hold the middle button to use the trash bag for loose utensils. Alright, I don't quite get what it means, but let's, um... Oh, yeah, so... Oh, there we go. Oh god, yeah, this is this reminds me of a mini game in Earthworm Gym 2, where you have to bounce for little Pete the puppies. 
Oh, I get it. Yeah, so we're bouncing it all the way. Yeah, it's just like the Earthworm Gym 2 minigame. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about there, but... This is kind of cool. Ah, so with the utensils... We have to catch those as well. We can't just let them drop. Yeah, that's why it says use the trash bag. Okay, I've got this now, guys. I actually understand it. Well, in theory. So this is our first ingredient. We want to let this one bounce. And the second. I think it confused me to start with because they do disappear. Um, so it's kind of like... Oh, God. I missed one. I missed one, guys. Right, get this one. Go. You've got to remember the order in which they're bouncing. Let's go. Now we're on a roll. Now we're on a tear. Spoon in there. This is delightful. Look at this. Cheese. Is that? Oh god. What the flip? Ah! Get that. Put that in the trash. And again. The cheese. Don't drop the cheese. Little blocks of cheese into I don't know what we're making here. Like some cheesy mushroom soup or something. What's that? A little apple or something? Tomato? I'm guessing it's a tomato. Oh! Holy... Guys. What the heck? Yo, this is actually, uh, this is coming in clutch right now. Ah! Okay. Yeah, these mini games are brutal. I don't know if I'll be able to complete all of these. But I'm showing you them, guys. These basically just unlock, um, skins. So, you know, it, it's kind of, I don't think it's lore-related stuff. It's maybe if you do them all, you get something like that. I think the diary entries in the endless mode are really kind of like the lore. Longest pop goes, don't hit anything. One point. Alright, I'll give it a go. Grow by eating pizzas. Just don't hit walls or yourself. Steer by using the left and right buttons, and you can boost forward with a middle button. Oh man, I can tell this one's gonna be a nightmare. Oh, I get it. Okay, so it's kind of like Snake. Yeah, it's like... Or oh, Centipede, was it? That was old mobile games. Let's give it another try. No, what was this one? I don't know what this one is. Oh. We have to put in the right inputs. I don't know what this minigame was. I think it skipped to the other minigame by accident. This one's easier though. Like... It gets harder though because they get obscured. You've got to stop the rats and cockroaches from getting to you, I think. Okay, so far so good. Yeah, we've got this. Nice. I don't know what we get if we complete this one. We might actually complete this one. It's one of the few that I'm actually uh, seemingly okay with so far. They do get faster though, these damn roaches. Oh my god! Okay, yeah, this is this is getting harder. My reaction times are not what they used to be, guys, so... Uh, apologies if I fail. Can we get take, like, three hits or something? 30 to 64, okay, going well so far. Um, oh god. Come on! Come on, Pop Goes! Oh no! I hit it. I hit the wrong one because I panicked. Oh no, guys! I'm I'm messing up because I'm panicking too much. We are doing okay though. Like to be fair. Come on! No! Oh man! Come on! That's unfair. I know that the rats are going to screw me up. There's going to be like a rat towards the end that just completely like throws me.
No! Oh my god, I hit the wrong key. I hit, I don't, because I, I, I was flustered. Pest control. This gets you the stone with crow skin for the campaign mode. Hmm. Then there's whack a rabbit. Hit the rabbits to win. I could probably do this one, surely. This gets gives us the man or the mouse skin. Move left and right and hit the garden annoyances with your hammer. Avoid shock hazards. Yeah, you stupid rabbits. Wow. Yeah, this is fast. We don't want to hit the wrong ones, is the thing. And I guess if we, uh... I guess if we, like, hit the, um, the electric or we miss them, then we get shocked. Maybe there's not actually shock stuff. I don't know. I think I read something about sh being shocked, but I might have skipped over it too quickly. I don't know, guys. You kind of have to remember the order in which they come up so you can hit them in time. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh god, do I have to remember the order? Bro! What even is this? Oh, that's a shock one. Ah, yeah, so the shock ones you avoid, I get it now. And this is tricky. No? Yeah, this one's more doable than the other ones for some reason for me. I think the last one was tricky because I've never been good at stuff like Friday Night Funkin'. So... Oh, you can hit them that early, okay. Fair enough. Man. I don't know what I'm doing. They're just really just poking their little heads out now. No! Oh my god. Why did I do that, guys? Why did I do that? I screwed it up. There's two now that we don't want to hit. Always check for the little shock things above their heads. Don't just auto hit. This is like a boss one. I want to just kill this one. Die! Die! Stay down! No, you're not coming up. Remain in your hole. Return from whence you came. Oh, that's one we don't want to hit. Uh, can we do this? Screw you. Stay down. Little punk. No. Did he get us? I think he was on the verge of getting us. Kind of just want to go back to him and hit him each time. Takes some bashing, doesn't he? No. Get down. They're ramping up the difficulty. Come on. We haven't got much longer to go though, so this is good. There's actually like two shock ones now as well, so we've got to be careful of those. They keep switching around positions. Come on. Stay down. Stay down, yo. Man, oh, hello. No! Oh, I double hit. That one's actually not too bad. I could have done that. I just was stupidly double hit and I made a mistake at the start hitting the, the shock one, not realizing. Uh, but yeah, that one would be doable. 
So yeah, these are the kind of mini games, guys. We've seen all of them now. I'm not going to complete them in this video. I just wanted to show you what they do. All right, let's see what we've unlocked, guys. We've got a diary here, and we've got customize. What's customize? Stickers. Oh, we can place stickers around. That's kind of cool. <laughs> there you go. A little Scott call from one. Oh, I like the origami one. I'm going to put that there. Maybe have the little uh, scythe there. And the stone with crow there. That's cool. And then... Oh, we've got Pop Goes. We, these are different like characters we can unlock. So these are the characters we've seen like, actually in the pizzeria. Toys. Oh, we can actually customize this, guys. I didn't realize that as well. So we can go back. Let me see. So there's that one. The Pop Goes Pizzeria. And then there is also the candies one. Oh, that's really cool. I didn't realize that. So we can play um, with, you know, like the candies burger and fries restaurant, which is nice. Okay. Let's have a look. What else is the diary? Hey, we've got only one diary entry out of like, I don't know what that would be like 14, I think. So, this is Pop Goes the Weasel. Name, Oliver Pop Goes Evergreen. Species, Least Weasel. 21 male. Birthday, 26th of June. He likes music, his friends, apples and art. Dislikes bullies and ghosts and the dark. So here's his biography. After Freddy Fazbear's Pizza closed down, Freddy gave Pop Goes his black hat so that Pop Goes could take over the role of singer at a new restaurant in England called the Pop Goes Pizzeria. Pop Goes is very friendly and positive, and he plays and performs with his friends in the restaurant and also in the local forests. Hey, and we don't have any more. These are all locked. So that's kind of nice. So maybe we try endless mode, guys, in, you know, in this new pizzeria. Just give it a go. All right, let's get our pizzas cooking nice and early. I don't know if we'll be able to do this. It is moving up quite fast, but at least we get to do it in a new setting, right? Cook some more pizzas. Drink that juice. Back in the middle. Couple more of these. Bad boys. It's always a good idea to like eat a pizza in between, um, just so the music goes down as well. Cook some more. Oh no. Yeah, this is moving very aggressively. It's very fast now. Let that go down, we need to make some pizzas. Cook those bad boys. Come on. Drink, drink, drink. And again. Pizzas. Yeah, this isn't going well for me, by the way. Man. No, this is just screwed. I've screwed it. I've screwed it already, guys. Ah, yeah, that's really hard. It, obviously, if you can do that, you'll get, like, um, new diary entries and stuff. So, yeah, that's interesting. All right, I think I'm going to leave it there. Maybe um, what I'll do, guys, in a future video is, like, try and do some of these mini games and the endless mode if this uh, is successful. For now, what we're going to do is head back to the menu, see if there's anything there. So we do have this thing called file. Cutscenes. Oh yeah, the two cutscenes we unlocked. Oh, character bios. Ah, oh, we've got Bonnie Glade here. 2008, I guess is when she was born. A young Bonnie Glade opens her present on her 10th birthday, a handmade LCD toy created by her father named My Pop Goes. The toy features a miniature Freddy Fazbear in a compact recreation of one of his restaurants all housed in a colourful 3D printed house. 
but when the toy is switched on, none other than Pop Goes the Weasel appears in adorable pixel art, a character that Bonnie herself created. Also, oh, Bonnie created Pop Goes, uh, and her father was like an inventor or something of toys, and he created the uh, My Pop Goes toy for her on her 10th birthday. So there we go, we can actually zoom. Oh, that's a bit creepy. <laughs> zoom in on Bonnie there. Oh, and then we've got some more that are kind of locked there. Interesting, do we have any more files? Just achievements. So we've got like a fair few of these. But there's a fair few to unlock still. A lot of these will be for the mini games and stuff. And then we've got like all the character buyers we can get for uh, all the diary entries I should say from completing the mini games and also for doing the endless mode. I think the endless mode would give us like story related ones. So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty cool guys. I really enjoyed this little game. It's a surprise. It kicks off the 10th anniversary of Five Nights at Freddy's in style and um, definitely has a lot of charm and quirkiness to it. Obviously the main game in this series is Pop Goes Evergreen which the team have been working on for a few years now and this kind of feeds into that with some extra lore and gives you something a bit different gameplay wise. Has a great art style, nice animations, a cute little soundtrack as well. I did find some of the gameplay frustrating, but I think I just need more time to get to grips with it. Uh, I definitely recommend it. I think it's around $5 on Steam. I can't be sure because I have UK pounds, but here in the UK it's like £3.50 or something, so I imagine that converts roughly to about $5. So uh, just go and check it out, see if you uh, are happy with the price and support the developer if you would wish to do so. Always helps them. But with that said, I'm going to end the video here, guys. That was my pop goes, my playthrough of it. Might return to do a second video if this one is popular enough. But otherwise, this is where I'm going to end my playthrough of my pop goes. If you did enjoy this video today, I'd appreciate it if you can leave a like, comment down below, and of course, subscribe for more videos just like this one. And I'll see you all on the next one.